Hartman, but he's held back by the Moose defenders. Puck to the wall. Sent towards the middle of the ice, but knocked down by Lundmark. Then he gives up the puck. Comes in behind the net for Labate. Labate off the wall for Honka. His long shot blocked in front. Comes to Drury. He scores. Two and a half minutes into the first period, and finally the Chicago Wolves able to get on the board. Now Nikonen to it. He'll swing it out in front. That one's off of a skate. Chisholm to the puck. Moves it for Nikonen. He'll play it for Torgerson with room. He fires a shot, but it's right into the crest of Kochekov, who gets out to the top of the crease. And an off long pass ahead. Gundler reads it well. Steals, gives it for Stromwell. His shot deflected in front. Salmon in the save. And Stewart scoops up the rebound and moves it away from the front of the net. Stuff it past Salmon and couldn't squeeze it through. There's a pass to the top of the zone. Anthony Honka trying to find a shooting lane. Just snaps it to the net and they score. It hits a body in front. Nobody's entirely sure who it went in off of, but the Chicago Wolves have a 2-0 lead early in this one. Henry Nikonen behind the net. Shoulders his way past Drury. Goes to the top of the zone for Gavanka. Leon Gavanka trying to find a path through. Now he'll flitter it to the net. Tipped in front. They score! Leon Gavanka gets a friendly bounce off the wall, and he's got his eighth of the season. It's 2-1 Chicago with 4-12. Left in the period. Able to go anywhere at the puck as Sue Cease will play it on for Stromwell. He's got to step down the right side with a shot. Rebound out in front. And they score. A rebound kicked right into the slot. And Nate Sue Cease restores the two goal lead with 28 seconds left in the period. But just couldn't quite hit the target. And then a cross ice pass tipped forward by Perlini. And he is in on a break. Brendan Perlini scores. And it is 4 1 Chicago on the errant pass. That comes back out to center ice. Chisholm, nice job in neutral ice to get the puck back. Now he'll sling it across for Limoges, back into the middle, but his pass is deflected. Chisholm gets onto it, turned away, Bongiovanni in front, and he hits the post. A wide open net for Wyatt Bongiovanni. Kocheko was down and out by Malott, comes to the line, but not quite out. Seven seconds left in the power play, past the back side, a chance for Suzuki. And he's turned away by Salmonen, who read that pass well. Face-off win for Chicago, just 15 seconds left in the penalty as Seeley sends it down low. Suzuki protects the puck, moves it back for Seeley. In the middle of Joie, looks to the net for a shot, tipped in front, and they score. Nick Suzuki wins the battle in front, gets a deflection on the puck. And it's 5-1 to one Chicago early in the third. There's Passion in behind the goal. Tries to miss again, and it's turned away by Salmon and maybe hit the side of the net. Moved into sole possession of seventh on the Moose all-time scoring list for defensemen here this evening as it'll come ahead for Limoges. Burke bursting forward, sends it to the net, and he scores! Not sure how that one got in. It looked like it redirected off a defender for the second Moose goal. Played up the wall to the line. Back for Pashin, sends it across the ice for Mendel. Mendel, long shot deflected in front, Labate scores. As the big forward was able to find it just sitting there at the top of the crease after it, another one gets blocked in front.